Okay, now we're going. You know, I'm I'm new at this, so I apologize. And it's been busy here. So call to order. It's August 20th, in case you didn't know. Saturday, August 20th. Now it's 202. We already talked about Zoom participants, but those here in the 600 room, very important to mute your phones. I did mine, Bob. No, I did not. Oh, boy. I'm glad I reminded yeah, everybody. You mute your phone. Kent, you muted? I did. All right. Very good. <clears throat> Outstanding, everyone. Thank you. If you need to take a call, sometimes things come up. Please step outside to answer your phone. We will be trying to repeat any questions that you ask for the Zoom folks at home since the microphone is right here in front of me. And... Those of you, uh, I think we only have two reports this time, Barry and Mike, X marks a spot. If you do have a comment, please say your name, speak clearly and loudly, and be brief. Oh, look, someone's joined. Wait. We have some new members this month, like a plethora of new members. We have a... None are unfortunately with us today, but we welcome them anyway. We have a Christian Aguilar. Welcome, Christian. We have a re-rail, Mr. Some of you know this next gentleman, Mr. Charlie Bacola has rejoined us. Welcome, Charlie. James Hansen moved into the area. And then Bob Ermshar is a friend of brought to us by Gary Dean and a friend of Gary's and has joined us. So welcome new members and visitors. I don't see any visitors, just regular old people. So <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing necessary here. <laughs> All right, minutes from the last meeting. They were posted to the website. I, well, wait a minute. I have not asked for a motion yet. Bob, I'm you control, you control the food? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Help us get through that. Now, they get fired on Jeopardy. But anyway. <laughs> All those in favor of approving the minutes from the last meeting, please say aye. aye. Any opposed? There are excellent minutes brought to you by Bob Dawson, as usual. Thank you, Bob, for those. And... Mr. Mike Berry, if you would step up to the X, please, and tell us about money and banking. Okay, thank you. Treasurer's report for this month. No further questions, right? Because we're moving on. Yeah, it's got a vote. Oh, yes. Thanks, Mike. I got all kinds of people helping me. You know, I'm the picnic, you know, threw my whole game off. I had this all down. If it would have had a meeting in July. I would have been golden here, but now I, need, I have to have Mike helping me, Bob helping me. Let's have a vote on acceptance of the treasurer's report. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? It's an excellent report, Mike. Don't go away here because yeah, you're okay. next. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> member welfare. I am member welfare side. As I mentioned in the treasurer's report, we have sent out three uh, gift cards for hospitalizations in the last two months. One of them to Anna Gardner, Wes Gardner's wife had surgery, uh, doing, doing much better, I was told, uh, thankfully for that. Um, and the other two gift cards, same guy, Don Fowler, two different hospitalizations in the last two months. So, um, uh, hopefully doing better on, on in his situation now. Uh, but uh, uh, we, uh, we, like I said, hope he's getting better now. As always, uh, if anybody hears about someone being hospitalized or they have a death in the family or whatever, please pass the word along because we don't hear what goes on with everyone. So uh, we certainly don't want to miss someone. We want to send them a card and let them know that the division is thinking of them. So pass the word along if you hear of anything. Uh, Mike and Ron, can you, can you hear me? Yes, yeah. Russ. Uh, just, just wanted to, to follow through with that. Uh, 
Ron uh, Steelberg uh, came in the shop on uh, Wednesday. Uh, he's all done with his PT. And uh, I think it was Friday. He's uh, starting back to work. So he's, he's all back in the, the pink. And uh, Don Fowler uh, happened to call the uh, shop on Wednesday. And uh, he's, um, he's doing much better. Uh, still not 100%, but uh, he's getting there. Good. And Thank Ron, you. Ron's doing so well, he's sitting right here. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I can't, yeah. I can't see that. So good. Yeah, All right. He, he said that he was going to try to make it. So. Yeah. He's showing everybody a scar. Uh, <laughs> All right. Good, good. All right. Thanks for the update, Russ. And thank you, Mike. Yep. Thanks for taking care of our members' welfare. We won't have Mark come up because Joe's not here, but Joe's online, right? Yes, yes, he is. Joe, you there? There I am. Hello. There you go. Thank you. Maybe we'll have you come up and say a quick word, Mark, <laughs> about Joe because he is on. He is online. Okay. And Joe is obviously you can see here from the screen as an association volunteer. Well, Joe, congratulations. Uh, Fred put, Sword did a yeoman's job putting the paperwork together and we submitted it and uh, pulled them one more time. So again, congratulations, Joe. We have your certificate and as soon as you're back in health, though, we'll bring it to you. Take care now. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, hey, thanks, Joe. Fred, for... Uh, hey, Joe. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Fred, for doing the paperwork and stuff. And uh, two down, five to go. The, probably two easiest ones to go. So I'll be Hank banging on all of you, all of you MMRs out there to, for help. So I appreciate it. Thanks. All right, Joe, congratulations. And thank you. It's time for the monthly modeling contest and Barry has joined us. That's right. Hey, Barry. So we're starting out the 2022, 2023 model year today for the, um, bottles on uh, maintenance away. So we took the vehicles that used to be this month also, and we moved them to December. So we'll be doing that in December, but today's maintenance away. And we had four entries uh, into the contest this time. So we're gonna start off with a uh, honorable mention and that's for Bob Frankrohn. So he did a um, 75 ton crane with flat car together and lots of details and everything. So congratulations to Bob for that excellent effort. And then for third place uh, today, we have a first time entry into our contest, Jacob Butler. And uh, he did a brown hoist 25 ton crane. Lots of nice weathering and everything on that. So congratulations to Jacob and we're glad to, that you're participating in the contest there. Now for second place goes to Steve Lasher. He did a uh, rotary snowplow and it is a working rotary snowplow and it's in New York Central um, paint scheme. So next time there's a big snowstorm on Russ Weiss's layout, they will be able to keep the main line open. <laughs> So this is excellent progress. So congratulations to Steve for the second place. And then for first place for our first contest of the year is Rick Geertz and uh, uh, the um, subject matter is railroad tie crane. And he got out that 3D printer and went to town. So congratulations, Rick. Now, normally at this point, I would be giving you an actual paper certificate, but it'll be coming. All right. <laughs> so. Thank you for your patience and we apologize for the delay. So congratulations to all of our modelers, um, keeping their model railroads well-maintained. And then for next month, we are gonna have two contests. So that means you can have two entries. The first entry will be for a photograph of a model railroad subject. And the second entry and contest will be a photo of a prototype railroad scene. And uh, we will look forward to a lot of good entries. That's usually a very popular month. So be uh, preparing now for that. 
Okay, have a good day, everybody. Just a reminder, Barry, right? It's only one photo per entry to right, submit, we, not three, as usual. That's right, Ron. Actually, as of today, we have some new rules that have started, and you can see those on the website. And one of the new rules is one entry per contest. And then another one of the rules is, um, or not rules, but one of the things we enhanced was descriptions at the website for each contest so you can understand them a little bit better. So thanks for mentioning that. Thank you, Barry. Thanks for running the contest every month. Much appreciated. I'd just like to say without taking away from Rick or uh, Steve Lasher or Jacob and the honorable mention Bob, the, the NMRA thought Bob's bottles were good enough to receive a national award, but here in division eight were so discriminatory that he just gets an honorable mention. <laughs> <laughs> so Rick, I think it's a testament of your modeling ability. <laughs> The tough crowd. Yeah. <laughs> the contest is a, is a fun item and we appreciate it. Okay, Mr. Weiss, time for a few words of what's coming in our future. And well, this is the future. Today's <laughs> later today is the future. So yeah, give us an update. <laughs> All right, thank, thanks, Ron. Uh, uh, we're pleased to have uh, Michael Groves with us today now. Uh, that name might not ring a bell with you, but his uh, company, uh, Dwarven uh, Enterprises, may. Uh, he's uh, done clinics at the uh, Indy Junction, which uh, I got to see uh, here, and uh, also uh, was at uh, uh, St. Louis uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, he has a, a very unique fiber optic system, and he's going to tell us about it today. So I think uh, you'll find his uh, presentation uh, fun and uh, very interesting. So uh, a little bit more on Michael in a few minutes. <clears throat> next, please. Thanks. So next month, instead of having a gathering, we're going to have the bull session back. And uh, if you haven't... Uh, uh, joined one of these. Uh, it's kind of fun. It's virtual only, but it gives you a, a chance that uh, tell us or anybody who's uh, logged in, uh, maybe what you've been doing, what you've seen. Uh, this is, we, we would like it to be just uh, railroad, but it can be either model or the one-to-one -one scale. So uh, anything you'd like to bring up in those areas, and it's it always turns out to be a, a, a fun afternoon talking about that. So put that on your calendar. <clears throat> next, okay. And so next month's general uh, uh, membership meeting, we have two presenters. Uh, both should be very, very uh, fun to, to, to listen to. Uh, Fred ran into Riley Tiggs uh, at the uh, St. Louis Convention. Uh, he is the man uh, in charge of the online NMRA publications, and he's going to be with us uh, to give us some of the behind the scenes. So that should be very interesting, and we've uh, allotted the, enough time for you to ask uh, any questions you would have for Riley. Also, you know that uh, both Fred and uh, Barbara were at the uh, St. Louis Convention. Barbara took a, a ton of pictures, I'm told, and uh, between now and next month, she's going to choose uh, the best ones, and she's going to give us uh, uh, her view of the highlight uh, of the convention. So that, for some of us, like myself, who couldn't attend, this should be a, a, a real nice uh, uh, slideshow. So, uh, a lot of good stuff to look forward to uh, next month. <clears throat> I think that's it, Russell. Sir? I think that's it. I think that's it. One uh, one thing I like to point out is that Riley Tiggs, his focus will be on the 
NMRA magazine, which is online now. He will be discussing other publications, other e-publications the NMRA puts out, so to make you familiar with those, but it, primarily he'll be speaking about the magazine and how to get it if you don't haven't switched to the online magazine yet. Okay, thank you, Russell. Yeah, thanks, Ron. And here we are, train show, here. Let me fix this here. Train show, oh! I don't think, have we ever had one of those before? No, first time. Train show, Mark, yes, Mark, Mark chimed in there. Thank you, Mark. We are, of course, looking for volunteers. I see that a bunch of uh, signed up today on the volunteer sheet back there next to Ruthie. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for volunteering. We do need volunteers to set up on Friday afternoon at 3 p.m. We need some help during the day on Saturday. And we need some help tearing down Saturday afternoon. We do have a sense a comment. Yes. It's what, while we're talking about sign-up sheets, if you haven't done it, uh, the attendance sheet for today is also back there near Ruthie. And she's the custodian of everything, I think. And uh, anyway, uh, please sign up uh, on your way out. If you didn't sign up on your way in, just so we can kind of keep track of what's going on. Thank you. We will be seeking some additional specialized volunteers. I can tell you now that we've reached an agreement to hire some young men to help the dealers unload on Saturday morning. So we still need a couple of people to help supervise the young men because they are young men and might need some guidance from experts like us, older folk. Young girls. Before we get on to the Christmas party, we, we have most of the tables sold right now. We have 65 tables committed to and paid for, and we have 10 more tables uh, that we expect to be taken by regular uh, dealers. So actually we have 11 because we sold a table today. Thank you to Mr. Stewart. So time is running out if you need a table let me know today. Christmas party is coming up. We want to make you a reminder that Saturday, December 3rd at the Corner Cafe, which is not far from here, actually, it's you can walk there from here. We will be gathering a little early this, this time at 4.30, dinner at 5.30. The purpose is, is, you know, of gathering a little bit earlier is to get better attention from the restaurant staff instead of waiting until six when they might be busy because this is an operating restaurant that will be open on Saturday night. So just a reminder to put that on your calendar at this point. We will have uh, information by next month's meeting and possibly in the pie card about how to make a reservation for the Christmas party and what it might put you back. I can tell you that it will be less than last year, probably significantly less. And that's it for the meeting. The meeting is adjourned, but don't run away because we have this month a short Back to Basics presentation. And Fred Soward, also our producer, will be up here in just a moment to make said presentation.